welcome again this is our second lecture of autocad so we'll start this lecture with offset command so you can give offset command from here or you can also use o as a op uh, shortcut offset command is useful to create a parallel lines suppose i have a line i want to create a parallel line, parallel lines to these lines then i will use offset so i will say offset then is asking me specify offset distance how much distance i want suppose i want for you then he is asking for select object to offset which object i want to offset this object then he is asking me specify point on side to offset on which side i want to offset either i can specify on this side right side or on left side suppose i specify on this side then it created a parallel line with a gap of 5 on the right side so still he is asking me select object to offset if required i can still make the offset of the selected object on the desired sides so in this way you can use the offset command to come out of the offset command you have to press enter uh, if you use offset command for circle then it will create concentric circles suppose i have this circle i want to uh, offset it by two distance so offset distance is 2 so i select this circle as a object to offset then i will specify point outside so it has created a concentric circle if i click inside then it will reduce the radius if i click outside it will decrease the increase the radius so in this way you can use the offset command then next command we will see trim command so this is the trim command from here you can give it so suppose i have trim command is basically useful to break the unwanted objects or to remove the unwanted segments suppose i have this object and my requirement is i want to cut all these lines and i want to keep this shape only the c so i will say trim so for trim he asked me to select cutting edges so what are the reference edges with respect to which, which edges i want to cut so suppose i want to cut these two lines above this line so i will select this line as a cutting edge then i have to press enter then is asking me select object to trim so which object i want to trim that i have to select it so it will trim with respect to that line so to come out you have to press enter again suppose i want to trim with respect to these two lines i want to remove these two extensions so again i will say trim then i will select the two lines so i want to trim after these two lines then i will press enter then i will select what i want to remove so in this way you can use the trim command to come out you have to press the enter then suppose i will undo it then next you can ma uh, make a part uh, any portion larger by using a zoom command or by mouse also you can do the zoom you just keep this plus whatever you are seeing here graphics cursor in an area where you want to zoom that area and you just rotate the roller towards the screen monitor screen so it will make it zoom plus if you rotate the layer uh, roller towards the user it will make it zoom minus if you uh, in a zoom condition if you want to just pan the drawing you can pan it by pressing the roller and dragging the mouse you can pan it or if you want to see the complete drawing then you have to double click the roller so in this way you can zoom zoom plus zoom plus zoom minus you can pan you can zoom extend or here also you can have a zoom window command is there using this command you can zoom a particular area you have to define the first corner second corner that particular area will be zoomed or here zoom previous is also there so it will show you the previous view so in this way you can use the zoom command suppose uh, i want to some measurement suppose i have a line i want to me measure the length of this line so for that this command is there shortcut is di enter the command shortcut is di command is this then is asking me specify first point so i will click this point so before clicking the point it is showing the length if i click it then 
it will show the here you can see that the length is 15 then it is showing the angle also with respect to x it will show the angle it is 45 degree right now here then it is showing you the delta x delta x is length on the x axis that is horizontal length of this line is delta x and delta v is vertical length of this line so that will be delta y and uh, angle from x y plane uh, and delta z is 0 because we are not in 3d so in this way you can use dist command uh, di shortcut to measure uh, make any measurements suppose if i want detailed geometric information then you can use the list command for that shortcut is li for list so list command shortcut is li suppose i press this, this circle and if i press the enter it will show this autocad text window where you can see that it is showing the center point for the circle x y z coordinates then it is showing the radius of the circle circumference and area so it is giving a detailed information if in the case of list if i select a line then it will give you the from from point coordinates to point coordinates and remaining data it has given same as dist command so in this way you can use list command for detailed geometric information then if you want to measure area of some particular shape for that area command is there suppose if i have this area and i want to make measurement of this area then you have to give a area command area then he is asking me to specify first corner point so you start with any point and click all the remaining points and uh, once you clicked all the points then press enter then it is showing you the area and the perimeter on the screen or below also it is showing here and suppose uh, some circular part is there i want to uh, calculate area for this circle then again i will give area command enter then specify first corner point so circle uh, don't have any corner points so here you we, uh, we have to use object option so we will to select that object option either you can give o enter or just right click and select object then select the circle so it is showing area and circumference both to you suppose i want to calculate area, area inside this shape and outside the circle that means normally we subtract the uh, subtract circle area from this area to get this particular area so that you can do in area command itself you can repeat the last command any last command by pressing the enter so now uh, i press the enter so area command came back so now i want to basically add the outside area into the memory so here is a add area option is there so i will say right click add area then i will click all the points of that outside area then i will say enter then i, <coughs> I want to subtract area subtract area of circle so i will say right click subtract area and circle is object then uh, therefore i will say object then i will select the circle so it is showing me the this green area is shown by 96 uh, here or i can press the enter i can see on the screen also so 20 is basically a circle area then total area is 96.31 like that so to come out of this line i can press enter so this 96 was the green area if i want to uh, see the autocad text window i have to press the f2 button by pressing f2 i can see this calculation in more detail here so here we uh, we can see that this 116 is outside uh, shape area 20 is circle area and 96 is effective area so in this way we have completed this second lecture so thanks for joining we will stop here thanks